Hello sweet sexy spirits, it's me, your creatrix, Chalice, and today I'm going to be answering some of your YouTube questions. First question is from Stephen Colbert, can you believe it? I know! Stephen Colbert 5 says on my video in the beginning, I'm surprised this video doesn't have more views to be honest. I think someone would need to know about you to serve you well, lol. I've actually been wondering when we'd learn your backstory. I think we're not getting the whole picture though. You're right, you're not, because I like my privacy. And it would take a really long time to paint that picture for you. And the question that I want to get to is this. <laughs> I had been guessing that A, your parents were super strict, B, the only job you could get with no work experience slash no college degree was the phone sex chat line job, and you needed a job ASAP to get away from your parents ASAP. Then, C, you realized that phone sex chat lines were being replaced by the internet. Am I correct or wildly off? The one thing that you are not so wildly off on is my parents being strict. Uh, however, they weren't that strict. Now, in retrospect, they were just being normal, caring parents. I just thought it was too strict. So, I guess you're going to get a little bit more of my backstory now to answer that question. I thought it was kind of funny, and I was like, Steven, have some faith in your girl. Come on. I actually had some, I did get away ASAP. Almost as soon as I turned 18, I moved and got regular jobs, um, had some, mm, I'd call it customer service jobs and sales jobs both as an employee and as a supervisor, and I probably could have kept moving up, except I didn't want to work in a box, did not want to work in a box, so I quit. Um, and then from there, I actually went on to be a nanny for some years. And to be honest, I did not get into my creatrix work because I wanted to. There was definitely a pull to it, but... In the get out of your comfort zone to grow kind of way. Me even putting myself on YouTube was like my worst nightmare. But I did it because I needed to. And it was just very clear to me that I had a role to fill or a job to do. Like, yeah, I saw something missing. That thing that was missing was me, so I better show up, basically. Here I am. But yeah, Steven, you were, you were pretty wildly off. But now I know what you think of me, hmm? I see you. Now we have a question from Ravi. Oh, hi, Ravi. Or Ravi. He says, can you please give your Instagram ID so we can also follow you there and establish your supremacy among society and as a goddess for other men? Well, Ravi, I do not have Instagram, but I do have Twitter, and my handle is at Creatrix Chalice. Just like that. Easy peasy. Now, this question is one that inspired me to want to make these videos of the Q&As, just because you guys don't know what I have to deal with, okay? You get to see some in the comments, but you don't know. Maybe you have an idea. Now, <clears throat> Satan says, hey, is it how safe to put a candle up the urethra or down the urethra? Well, not today, Satan. Uh, if you really want to do things with your urethra, invest in some sounding rods because a candle is not sound. Okay. I don't know why I put this one on my list of comments that I wanted to put into this video because now I'm reading it and I'm like, okay, Chalice, I'll do it anyway. So, Schlockinator <laughs> says, I'm glad I did it already to just to say that word out loud felt good. Now I'm going to read it how I feel like it must have been intended. 
yo, can I borrow like five dollars so I can walk down to the Seven Eleven and down the road and buy me buy myself a couple of bottles of Coca Cola? I'm good for the money. I'll pay you back in like a week. Well, mm, Schlockinator, maybe, maybe if you were buying something other than Coca Cola, I'm not gonna feed the Coca Cola monster, okay? So, nah. But, you know, maybe ask a friend. Now, last question. Oh yeah, this is like a three-in-one. It is from the cuckolding and hot wifing video. Comment is from Robert Guthridge, and he says, Just found this video. Informative. So, what is the term if the situation is reversed and the lady is watching? P.S. You're very cute, and I like your voice. Well, thank you. And can you hear me, Major Tom? I said, can you hear me, Major Tom? Said, I think it's cut queen. And he's right. Even with the weird spelling, I know. You might want to, like, spell check it. It's been checked, okay? Cut queen. Now, Shane, rude comment, rude reply. Boy, were you wrong. I couldn't resist. Don't be a douche in my comments section, you guys. That goes for everybody, not just you, Shane. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Play nice. Be kind to one another. You know, the world is really weird. We're also really weird. Let's harmonize and have fun and learn from each other, okay? PSA. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I will see you on the next video.